Morning, everyone on Zoom. Welcome to the Supercomputing Challenge. This is our 33rd annual award ceremony, and we are so excited for you all to be here. David said, time out. What's up? You always have to start with the security briefing, right? <laughs> you all know how you got in here. So in the case of emergency, exit to your, your right, or we have two exits to that side. Um, one goes down the hall to the kitchen. The kitchen's on the other side of the uh, wall right there, but oh, you don't even know that for those drivers. Okay, um, we're going to be here for a little while and have a lot of fun. So you might get thirsty because you're drinking out right around the corner over there, or you might drink too much and you need a bathroom. That's right over there. If those bathrooms happen to be full, there's some upstairs right above them. So and it's really bad. There are bushes out there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and I'll turn it back over to you. Awesome. So we're so excited to have you all here. It has been such a push to the finish, and we are so proud of all of you for completing the challenge and getting here and being present. It was amazing to see all the presentations yesterday that you all put together, to see all your hard work, and to see all the future projects, the future ideas that you already have, that you're already thinking about. So we're really excited for all of that. And congratulations, you took the challenge and you finished the marathon. So let's give you guys a round of applause. So a couple more things for you guys out in the foyer over here, there's a few QR codes. If you all feel like scanning those, that's for our teachers and our students. There's gonna take you to a quick survey. We are collecting data to help us improve the challenge. So there's always things that we can do to do better. There's things that you all learn as students that you can do better and teachers that you can do better. But we're also trying to improve as an, an organization. And although we've been doing this for 33 years, there's tons of room to grow. So please take a minute if you have that. You're also gonna see a ring light out there. We have a photo booth this year, which is so awesome and exciting. So just encourage you all when you have some free time um, after we're done with the award ceremony, Go hang out and see what options we have in the foyer to engage with and interact. And now we'll have a message from our executive director, David. And we have some great pictures here. Yeah, you. Yes. We have some great pictures here. Coming to Los Alamos and enjoying the uh, activities. And we're really happy that you're participating. And we hope that uh, those of you who are, aren't seniors will be back next year. And those of you who are seniors will come back and help judge and mentor and support the Zoom Beach Challenge in the future. Thank you. And we'd like to welcome Ms. Angela Milky from Los Alamos National Labs. Welcome. So good morning. I am, I am so happy to be here with you guys this morning. Um, and the amount of energy in this room is amazing. I wish I could take some of it back to my office, to be honest, um, afterwards. Um, I just want to say again, congratulations. I'm the executive officer in the science, technology, and engineering um, organization at the lab, which is where a lot of our high performance computing lives um, and a lot of where our computer scientists live. Um, and so you all could be there in a few more years. Um, I want to, uh, you know, encourage you um, to, you know, push forward on the next path of your journey. Always keep um, growing and learning. Um, and, and college is one piece of that journey, but don't ever stop at that. Um, and with that, I know I'm not here for why I'm not the reason why you're here. I want to turn it back over. And uh, again, congratulations. And this is very exciting. We'd also like to give a shout out to New Mexico Con Consortium. Steve Bulo is the CEO over there and him and his staff have supported us uh, several years and we really appreciate everything that they've done for us and continue to do for us in the challenge. We'd also like to give a welcome from the consult group. These are the folks that are behind all of your emails that you send. This is Celia, David, Patty, and Karen. We really appreciate you guys being here. You guys want to wave? I know most of you guys.
Oh, you're, you're still on Zoom, right? Yeah, I'm just watching yours on Zoom. Oh, I didn't have mine okay. up. I'm sorry. In that case, we are very happy to have some folks who are in the challenge for the first year, and the new schools this year are McKinley Middle School and Newton Carey High School. Thank you so much for coming. So we celebrate you guys. You all will be getting pizza parties. So welcome. We really hope to see continued participation from you guys in the future. Please reach out if we can help you guys be successful, come up with more projects. But we are here to support you. So thank you so much. At this point, we'd also like to mention that there are some participants that aren't new this year. Uh, Kiara has been in seven years, Avery and Ola, and Morgan have been in six years, it's longer than five years. So, those of you who are just starting, we look forward to seeing you for several years to come. All right, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in to congratulate our finalist teams. We were blessed to have nine teams this year make it to the finalist round, which is incredible. We are so proud of you all. We, we saw some great projects. So we're gonna go ahead and call you all up. We'll stage you all here and take a great picture, but we do have some gifts for you all. So we'll go ahead and jump into it. So we wanna welcome team two from Cottonwood Classical and Del Norte High School. That's Avery, Kiara, and Violet. And, and they had a Skype for Zooming yesterday, so they're not here with us, but we do have behind Katie Lewis that little uh, poster. We have a poster for them. And the way of team four also had to zoom in yesterday. So we will have to get those, uh, all that good stuff to them later. And Patty, hang up, I hope you'll show what this. We have banners for the finalist team, so you can hang at your school so it's not only athletics with banners, but challenges with banners. All right, next step. Awesome. So we also want to welcome team six from Sandia High School. Tristan, if you want to come on up. And team nine from Capitol High School, Zachariah, Isla, Brittany, and Daniel. If you guys want to come on up. Did you want to give Tristan his poster behind you? Uh, number nine. Oh. And number six, sorry. And number nine, I'll get coming up too. Is team nine here? Yes. Oh, here you guys are. Yes. So we want everybody up there at the same time. So Tristan, why don't you move over to your left a little bit? And then we'll have Capsule join. So we want a nice group picture with all those finals team banners. And we get everybody up there. And I think they have schoolwork that they had to do today, so we'll have to get something else. What about the Quaker Team 13? Did they make it back? Yay! You might notice that Gary is also handling this. Each finalist also receives $15. Yeah, you know, you stand right All right, we also have Team 14 from Los Alamos High. Daniel Kim. Awesome. And Team 27 from Monte del Cristo. Sorry, Monte del Sol Charter School, Gabriella and Emily. Yeah, that's, that's good. And we also have no. Team 50 from St. Thomas Aquinas. That's Catherine. All right, finalists, if you want to come smush over here, we'll get a quick photo really quick. All right. Now let's give them all a round of applause. All right, time to start jumping into some awards. So now that you've done all the hard work, it's our job to award you for that and congratulate you. So our first award is Innovative Data Science Award. This is sponsored by CNN. And drum roll, please. All right, that goes to Team 19 from Santa Fe Press. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Same <laughs> All right, our next award of the morning is Innovative Machine Learning. And this is going to Team 10, Academy for Tech and Classics, Henry and Dean. All right, for professional presentation, we'd like to welcome up Eric Chavez. He's a field representative from the Senator's office. So welcome. Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. It's so great to be with you today on behalf of Senator Ben Ray Mohan, Senate office. And it's so cool to be around so many great minds and great leaders and great innovators of the future, right? Some supercomputers, right? Let's hear that energy, right? Yeah. Well, on behalf of the Senator, he's always been a really strong supporter for STEM education. And it's just a great honor to be here. So continue your education, continue following your dreams and continue being the future leaders and innovators of America. And so without further ado, uh, this year's presentation for professional uh, development or, or the professional presentation, uh, they expressed uh, great presentation skills and tools. Uh, they express great teamwork. And it is my honor to present to you, drum roll, Team Four, Live Level High School. We'll get this mailed out to them ASAP. Yeah, we'll have to get it out to you guys. <laughs> All right, our uh, next next award is for Star Logo Agent Based Modeling. I'm going to turn it over to Nick to present this one. When I when I started the challenge in the challenge 21 years ago, it was just as we started using Star Logo, so this is kind of fun to give this award. So this is for the best um, uh, Star Logo Nova model, and uh, the winners are. Team 18, Media Arts Collaborative Charter School. The best part. <laughs> All right. Oh, drum roll. We're going to have a random number drawing. And while David pulls that up, is Fatima Esparza Torres here? Because I have your badge that someone found last night. All right, David, what number we got? Okay, let's see. Who is that number 103? Anybody have that number 103? Oh, shucks. That's somebody from uh, Academy of Tech Classics who's not here. These are the ones that you have to be here to win. Uh, <laughs> you have to try again. <laughs> Number seven. Double up seven. Who's number seven? They're here. I think. Daniel Kim. Number seven. Uh huh. Come on up here. Come on here for you. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, I think it's pushing the right place. Who's number eighty? You're right. Ah. It's Mr. D. Oh, yeah. He is you know, now offered to another competition, but he sent someone in his place. So come on over here and get this. Donna, right? Yes. Thank you very much, Donna, for helping out the situation. And one more. All right. One more five. Congratulations. All right. We'll come back to this in a little while. There we go. Okay, next. All right, jumping into our next award is Human Computer Interaction. And here to present that is Stephen Guerin. Oh, Super Computer Challenge. Woo. Right, for the last couple of years, maybe 10 years, we've been giving a Human Computer Interaction Award. A lot of times visualization or different ways of interaction. Now with large language models and things like chat GPT, how we interact with the computer is changing. And one special team is, uh, you know, computing is about sometimes finding a solution, but it's also about how we communicate, right? And human computer interaction with uh, large language models. Uh, the award goes to Monte del Sol Charter School with Gabrielle and Emily. Uh, for uh, stress anxiety and uh, monitoring. And Taking care of each other is very important, and their project really reflected that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Stephen. I would like to give a shout out to some of our judges now. Um, the judging is difficult at times. It's hard for our judges to travel to wherever we're having the expo. It's sometimes difficult to judge fairly. 
And we really want to give kudos to all of our judges who have taken the time to volunteer with us and to spend some time with you all. And this has gone throughout the entire school year. We've had judges that have helped you all with February evaluations. We've had judges mentor. We've had judges help with expo and with the award ceremony as well. So huge shout out to everyone who has judged. Um, our finalist judges are up here. Daniel Jones, Sharon, Stephen, David, Maureen, Tom, Michael, and myself. So really appreciate you guys. Is anyone here? Anyone want to stand up? Our final judges. Well, we'll just yeah, our expo judges are awesome also. So thank you all. We really appreciate you. Those of you listening online that can be here, just know that you guys are what makes this happen and makes this possible. So we really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. We also want to give out a shout out to Alan and Mary. They're part of the Code Break team. And there's a bunch of you here that have gotten help from them this year. So thank you to them. All right, jumping right into our Community Impact Award, and Stephen's going to present that one as well. Oh, it's great to be back. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, very important as you're doing your projects. How do you impact your community? How do you help sense what's going on in your community and help citizens make decisions together? This year's award goes to Capitol High School for their awesome work on robotic fire uh, detection and weather measurement. All right, our next award is the Middle School Award, and this is presented by Computer Science, Alli Computer Science Alliance. David, is there anyone here to give that one? No, Paige Prescott is the uh, leader of the Next School Computer Science Alliance, but she was not in the tournament. So, Dr. Old and the winner is. Yeah, can you come She in was here? the first round finalist. Thank you. All right, next we have the STEAM Award. This is going to a team that focuses somewhere in the realms of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And so for this one, we'd like to award to Team 44 from La Cueva High School, Victoria for Tech Generated Art. Thank you so much for our team. Oh, cool. Right here. Oh. The award. Congratulations, Victoria. But wait a minute, Victoria. But wait, there's more. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, we have something really cool, which is our Teacher Appreciation Awards. And these are extra special because the judges don't nominate the teachers, the students do. And so we'd like to call up our students. Um, a good education can change anyone, but a good teacher can change everything. And we see that all the time here. We really appreciate our teachers. And we know that you guys are the backbone to this. You're the drive. You're the one pushing the students, pushing the teams to finish this challenge. And we really wouldn't be here without your dedication and your drive for success and making sure that you, your students are successful in everything they do. So we really appreciate you. So we'd like to bring up Eileen and Alex first. Do you guys wanna come present? Miss Brown has been an outstanding teacher sponsor and asset in this year's supercomputing challenge. As founder and coordinator of the nonprofit Justice Code, she has provided students with countless opportunities for social and academic enrichment to programs like the Supercomputing Challenge. Throughout this event, she has worked to provide mentors, meeting spaces, and opportunities for each student under her supervision. Indeed, her efforts have instilled within me and others a greater admiration of computational science. And for these reasons, we believe she should be honored this year and we appreciate you so much. Thank you. And the girls behind you, except, wait a minute, and, well, where is he? What's going on? Okay, everybody else? Stand up there and see it. Well, okay. 
I want to get a picture of all the teachers. Go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're going to read the best. Okay. All right. All right. Stand up, 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 and she was driving us around as our parents were out of town. He even picked us up earlier that afternoon, took us supply shopping, picked up our pictures, and she even went as far as to take us to the library to print out our papers for our poster book. There was absolutely no way we could have finished the project with it looking as good, as nice as it did, if it weren't for Ms. Campbell. The point of my story is <laughs> Ms. Campbell doesn't ever leave anyone out and always finds a way to accommodate us. She does so much for us and I admire her for it. Her efforts encourage us to work hard so she doesn't stress herself in vain. I'm so grateful for her because of the opportunities we got to partake in, simply because Ms. Becky decided to step up. She's a pleasure to be around and pushes us to be the best versions of ourselves. This is why I believe Ms. Campbell is an excellent choice for the best of us. Thank you. <laughs> and with you guys up there. Come on. 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 Next Teacher Appreciation Award is presented by Emily. What makes a spectacular teacher sponsor? It's all the little things our teacher sponsor, Rhonda Crespo, does for us. She does everything a team could need, from encouraging us to take breaks when we're stressed, reminding us when deadlines are, and even offering to drive us to our mentors. Without Rhonda, our team may have given up. She has always been a smiling face of encouragement. No matter how exhausted we are, Rhonda inspires the best in us and keeps us going. We are incredibly grateful for her passion as an educator. She gives her best so we can give ours. Thank you, Rhonda. All right, our next Teacher Appreciation Award is presented by Saria Mardo. Our advisor, Thomas Tommy Evans, has inspired many people through his time as an educator. By making our school's robotics program, he has helped many students find their passion in STEM and has helped change the course of many students' lives as they overcome the current obstacles that are faced in our community. He has worked many tireless hours to build this program with his students and help them realize their potential to make a difference in the world while doing something that they enjoy, which is why we believe that he is a perfect candidate for this award. And our last Teacher Appreciation Award is presented by Zachariah Birch. Mr. Terrace deserves to be honored because of her continuous dedication to her students and team members. She continuously allowed my team to meet in a room in order to meet supercomputer deadlines, even when I met staying for several hours after school. Mr. Terrace helped schedule meetings with our wonderful retired electrical engineer mentor, Mr. David. I had the opportunities to learn how to build robots with Arduinos, learn C++ and Python, all thanks to Mr. Terrace. Mr. Terrace truly deserves to be honored more than my limited words can express. She's going to add another part to it, you said it. Our teacher deserves to be honored for all of her support to our team and for everything that she's provided for us. She has supported us in our project submit, submit to Supercomputing Challenge, helped us with meeting deadlines, updates, and much more. The C deserves to be nominated for all of her hard work, dedication, and emotional support she brings us. She's a very amazing individual that can push through the hardest and toughest situations. I'm thankful to be her student because without her, I would not be part of the great team that she's in charge of. Thank you. For all of you students that just came up, if you want to give the speech that you just gave to your teacher, so that way they can hold on to this and keep it and cherish it forever, I'm sure they'd really appreciate that. Our next award is for environmental modeling. And to present that, I'd like to call up David Janicki. 
So, so here we are in this uh, nice place, but you know, outside there's all that good environment and um, it's always an interesting part of the challenge to see the projects that uh, you students come up with and how all the teachers and mentors help with that. And so uh, the environmental monitoring award this year goes to team two from Cottonwood. So, uh, you know, they gave a nice presentation yesterday and we're very happy to encourage all of this stuff. Talk to all your teachers about what to do next year. You have to hold up the award oh. for them. Oh, sure. The and money. And money, yeah. <laughs> There's money in environment somehow. <laughs> do that again, hold up the money. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right, our next award is for teamwork. And since we're talking about teamwork, I figured now might be a good time to do some more swag. Yeah? Yeah? Can I have my swag fairies come up? Swag team? <laughs> recognize team eight from Capitol High School. All right, next is our NMTI Research Award. And this is given to team 13 from La Cueva High School. Our next award is the Creativity and Innovation Award. This is sponsored by Sandia National Labs, and I'd like to welcome up Sharon Deland to pre present this. Good morning. As a uh, longtime judge, I just wanted to share that one of the great joys of doing this competition is the, the novelty and the creativity of the ideas that you all come up with. And so um, on behalf of uh, Sandia National Laboratories, I would like to present this award to Justice Code Team 37. And before we get into our next award, numbers please, David. Let's see who number 28 is. Who is number 28? Alfonso. Huh. And um, let's try another one. Uh, 86. Who's 86? Andres? Is Andres here? Los Angeles High School? Okay. Going one twice. And it's gone. My pocket. No. <laughs> 128 might be. Bernie! Oh, all right. The logo for next year will be decided after June 1st. <laughs> so we did have two submissions that you voted on yesterday. And unfortunately, there were some other submissions that did not make it to us. Uh, we, we anticipate or we think that some school systems do not let you send out JPEGs to other people. So um, we want you, if you haven't already come up with a logo, if you want to try to come up with a logo, please uh, send your submission to logo to bigtorrents.org. But if, if it's a JPEG and you're coming from a school account, we might not get it. So also send us a regular message 
with no attachments to logo and say you're submitting one. And if we don't get to the actual image, we will try to contact you. So we'll include contact information. What we're going to do is we're going to post all the submissions up on the web page. And all of you who have a login to the student feed challenge web page can log in and go for your favorite logo. So you've got a couple of weeks to think if you already have one, send it to us in the next couple of days. If not, come up with one. And then we will come up with a little uh, we'll vote, come up with a winner, and then you'll get what's holding what Patty is holding in her hand, along with two hundred dollars. So you are wearing last year's logo. That's right. All right. Next, we're going to jump into the technical poster award. David, would you like to present this one? All right. This is one that you voted on yesterday after all the posters were printed. Put, uh, put up in the Santa Clara Gallery in the Los Angeles National Laboratory. And the one that got the most votes was T14. That's the best technical poster. And that will become the front cover of our final report book. All the teachers should have got a copy of the finalist reports from last year at the kickoff. And this is what it looked like back here. Uh, and now, so the last two years we haven't had technical posters for three years. Since we haven't been in person, it wasn't really appropriate to have a technical poster over Zoom. So we just put pictures of the uh, finalists on the last year one. But this year's, the so next year, finalist report, we're going to put, a, put together of all nine finalist reports, and the cover will be Daniel's technical poster. And another one that she voted on, crowd favorite. Which unfortunately I didn't get a picture of yet. But it was T41. Turn around, look at that. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Okay, now. All right. All right. Our next award is the New Mexico Network for Women in Science and Engineering, and I'm really excited to present Ms. Cherry Birch to present this award. You may know my name because I'm also the co-director for AEUW's Tech Track Camp in the summer. Um, and just in case you're here and you've nominated girls for that in the past, we thank you. If you've applied, we thank you. And if uh, you've served on our staff or been our sponsor, we thank you. Um, I'm representing the Mexico Network for Women in Science and Engineering. This is actually my 25th year to be here. Um, no, I shouldn't say it that way. My first year was 25 years ago. I haven't been here every year. I used to be a teacher sponsor at, uh, or a coach at Del Norte High School. Back in the olden days, we are pleased to award our, it doesn't say yet. We are pleased to make our award to young women who are working on in uh, supercomputing. We really appreciate all of the work you did to finish the, the projects. We really appreciate all the work everybody does to finish these projects. Having been a teacher coach, I know how hard it can be. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. There's a $50 gift card in there. Be sure you don't lose it. <laughs> Our next award is the Magellan Award. It's for someone who's an explorer and a risk taker. And this is sponsored by Daniel and Malfuka. They're challenge advocates. And we are very excited to present this to Team 15 from Cleveland High School. One of the really cool things about the challenge is we never know what kind of projects we're going to get each year. So it's really hard to cater specific awards and expect us to have projects that fall into those categories every year. So instead of doing that, we chose the route of going with judges special awards. So these are awards that the judges feel are deserving of teams, but we wanted to make something special for you because you've gone outside of our realm of expectation or you've exceeded um, what we thought could be accomplished there's a lot of different ways to get special awards 
And so we have four this year to recognize. And are there any judges that would like to come up? Hey, Nick, to help present these. Lean on judges right now. <laughs> All right. So the first one will be the uh, special award for resource efficiency, which is going to go to team 29, Tucson Carry High School. <laughs> All right, and this is another special award from the Expo judges, the Reach for the Sky Award that goes to Team 28, Los Alamos High School, developing an autonomous area. All right, and I love the name of this one. This is the Coastal Guardian Award, which goes this year to Team 41, Justice Code International. And we have the Building Blocks of Adaptability Award for a team that kind of had to pivot a few times during the execution and, and showed up and, and completed quite well. Uh, and this goes to Team 22, Tucum Carey High School. Okay, thank you. All right, before we jump into our sponsor recognition, one of the cool things about having sponsors is having swag from the sponsors. Do you guys need more swag? Yes? Yeah. Yes, we need more swag. Flip us to our sponsors. Our primary partners, Los Alamos National Lab, New Mexico Consortium, and Triad National Security are amazing partners. They have done so much for the challenge, and we want to give them a huge shout out. Another huge shout out to our platinum partners, Sandia National Labs. And another shout out to our gold partners, West Wind and New Mexico Family and Community Engagement Solutions. We also have Silver Partners, the Encantado Foundation, Gulfstream Group, and BigBite.cc, Los Alamos National Lab Foundation, Meta, and PNM. And for our bronze partners, the Air Force Research Lab on Kirtland, ABQIT, Descartes Lab, Pullman's, HPE, Terrasoft, Ter Intel, New Mexico Technology Council, the New Mexico Technology and Ed Education, that's NMTI, and SimTable Redfish Group. We also have some educational partners we wanted to shout out. That includes the Center for Connective Learning and Computer-Based Modeling and NetLogo, the CNM Ingenuity Incorporated, Eastern New Mexico University, MIT Star Logo Nova, New Mexico EPSCoR, which is the experimental program to stimulate competitive research, and New Mexico Highlands University. Thank you to all of them. And some more educational partners, New Mexico Institute for Mining and Technology, the New Mexico Public Education Department, New Mexico State University, Northern New Mexico College, San Juan College, Santa Fe Community College, the University of New Mexico, and the UNM Center for Advanced Research Computing. We also want to give a shout out to the Friends of the Challenge. This includes ABBA Technologies, the Cahill Family, Computer Science Alliance from Paige Prescott, Dr. Sean Cooper from NMSU, Daniel Malhuka, Clint Hubbard, Maximo Lazo, Irene Lee and Roger Critchlow, Merrick, thank you. And some more, we have the New Mexico Network for Women in Science and Engineering, Risk Sense, Peggy and Bob Roby, Sea Alaska, Steam Boomerang, Fred J. Voss, and Wind Spirit Therapeutic Massage. Without all of these sponsors, we would not be here. So it is incredibly important for us to say thank you for your continued support. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Thank you for giving all of these students a chance to experience this and grow with the challenge. And that being said, you too can be a challenge sponsor. We partnered with Kroger and Smith's and they actually allow um, some of your food purchase to go towards the supercomputing challenge. Uh, we will get this link out to you guys, but you can also search on their website um, for this by our name or by our code, and you can click enroll. This is free for you to do, and it gives us a little bit um, back from the community, uh, which we really appreciate. And it's posted on Thank you. It's posted on our Instagram account as well. And there's a QR code in the hallway. 
tons of options to sign up for that opportunity. Next, we'd really like to recognize our scholarship recipients. Every year we get money for scholarships for our students to continue their education after they graduate high school. So we're really thankful for our sponsors for this. And we'd like to, are you presenting? Patty is presenting our scholarship recipient. So our first scholarship recipient goes to Avery, uh, Avery Urea. I think she's on Zoom, is she, David? I thought I saw her. Oh, let's see names. I don't see her names. Okay, so she's not here, but she received the scholarship. Violet Kelly, who was on her team, also received the scholarship. Uh, Daniel Leon, not here, also received the scholarship. Zachariah Birch. <laughs> There'll be more already. So Zachariah's going to the University of Portland. All right. Stay. <laughs> Isaac Rankin. <laughs> Zachariah, the amount is on the front of your certificate. <laughs> That's not all. Uh, Kiara uh, Anamoto, who is at, uh, not here, and she'll be going to University of Rochester. Uh, next is Gloria Engel. There's more. Oh, wait, there's more. Isel Aragon. Uh, Isel is going to Santa Fe Community College. Has lots of options, but she currently hasn't made a decision yet. Um, I did not listen to who else we have. Violet was going to Oregon State University. Daniel is going to uh, Newmont College in Utah. And then there's another scholarship for Avery Urea, who is not here. She'll be going to Oral Roberts. And those are all the scholarship winners that are here. And those scholarship winners will split $15,000 worth of scholarships. And here's a huge shout out to our scholarship donors. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Drum roll. But first, another number. All right, who's number 87? Yay! And another one. Who's number 80? And who's number 18, that's right, Marina, yeah. All right, oh, hey, I've still got a second else bill back here. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and get her number two. One, one, one. It's on your badge, your name, your name. Anybody with a badge? Right, see, on your badge. Well, unfortunately, that person is not here, so I'm gonna try again. Uh, 
open your mics and turn your cameras on and say hi to us. Vanilla or uh, Jeremy, your teacher is with her. Who we'll did deliver it? Special deal. Yes. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, Dave, Sharon, why not? Let's sit you up there. <laughs> Can you share a little bit about what the first place winners did in their project? Actually, we encourage everyone to go look at their project on the Chicago John's webpage in the final reports. Look for um, Team 4 and read over the report. As judges, can you can uh, give us a quick synopsis of what they did? They're in chat, so I was going to oh. see if they can unmute. Yeah, I'm not looking at chat. So we'd love for one of you guys to talk about your projects if you're there and available to unmute. I think anyone can. Oh, it sounds like they are in class. So, so I guess if you guys want to breathe, <laughs> go for okay. it. So in their project, they were addressing a really interesting and important problem, and that is trying and trying to um, detect freezing of gait in Parkinson's patients, which can lead to falls and other things like that. And so they um, put together some yeah. tools. So they had um, some tools with an iPhone, eventually an Android, and going to uh, look at that gait, look at being able to tell whether you're sitting or walking or whether you're having a problem with that. And then they were also using some video and and um, looking at how that works. And so uh, they had a nice project to uh, put that together, work on uh, the various aspects of it, and be able to uh, help all of us out as we get older, you know. And <laughs> some of us are getting a little bit grayer. It's getting closer. So, uh, uh, you know, great project, good, uh, good use of phones and all these new tools we've got to uh, be able to uh, work on on these sorts of aspects of, of human health. So um, congratulations to all of the folks who were involved in, in the challenge and uh, to the first place team. All right, I know uh, first place isn't here, but can we have second and third place come up with your trophies really quick for a pitcher? And okay. first- Maybe we should have, uh, first let's have Daniel come up and tell us about your project, and then Tristan can tell us about the project. See, I've got a little bit of a problem. You guys were, we, we sent out the swag so fast that we're finishing earlier, and burritos aren't going to get here for another 20 minutes. So, <laughs> got more swag to hand out. So, so let's get a picture, and then if Daniel can share a little bit about his project, and then Tristan can share a little bit about his project. Hi, everyone. Um, my project was trying to address the problem of ocean trash and i'm sure you all know that ocean trash is a very big issue um one of the biggest causes of environmental concern and um through through my project i was using an autonomous underwater vehicle which is pretty much a self-driving submarine um to capture the capture footage oh, of oh i forgot the camera was still on <laughs> So anyways, um, I use an autonomous underwater vehicle, which is pretty much a self-driving submarine to capture footage of um, ocean trash and a machine learning model to analyze that footage and use that to map ocean trash. Hi, everyone. So my project was on modeling astrophysical systems. What that means is um, the way that we look at the universe and understand the universe is that kind of instance in time, when you take a picture of a galaxy or something like that, you're seeing it kind of static. It's a static object. And we can look at galaxies at different instances in time, you know, further back, closer to the Big Bang or things like that. But we only see these, you know, small snapshots. And so what I developed, um, Sings, was a tool that people can use for running simulations um, on their computer. They can set up, you know, an initial system. Maybe it's just the solar system and they want to see, you know, how planets go around the sun or how they're going to interact with each other. Maybe it's the stars going around the galaxy or maybe it's galaxies themselves colliding and seeing what that looks like, how those systems evolve. Um, and so that's what my project focused on. It focused on creating a tool where people could, you know, very easily make 
these simulations, view them, mess with the parameters, um, change how different things interacted. And through that, we can get a better understanding of the evolution of the universe. And we can pick into um, you know, these major problems in physics and other fields where you know, we might otherwise not have that level of understanding. So that was, that was things, that was my project. All right, and real quick, all of the finalists, we have some really cool gifts for you guys. Everyone's gonna get a mug and a yeah, water bottle. Okay, I'm sorry. Earlier, we forgot earlier. That's oh, okay. So if you guys wanna come up really quick, finalists, come get this. And for all of my teachers out there, um, I know Miss Karen went around already and Miss Patty, if you guys need sticky notes for anything, we have a large collection of them. So if you want to come grab a, a bag full, um, we'd love for those to benefit you, your students, your classes, but come help yourself. So you folks can just uh, hang around a little bit while we get the kitchen set up. You know, once we get the kitchen set up, we'll make an announcement and well, let's probably get to it this morning. Um, in about three minutes, is yes. exit to the right where Patty is. Any of those Patty dropping swag on the loser mementos of this year's challenge. So it's cool to hand out some mementos as you go out that way. And eventually, you'll walk down the hall behind the auditorium to the kitchen where we'll have lunch. But, uh, oh, you can play with the photo booth out in the lobby. And we'll let us know when the lunch is ready and uh, all set up. So thank you very much again. Congratulations to this year. We hope you come back. Congratulations to everyone. We hope to see you next year in the service of the future.